Hello everybody, it's uh, nice to be able to talk to you and to tell you about our plans uh, to host the next uh, mental dysfunction in Parkinson's disease meeting, which will take place in Berlin soon. Uh, we had our first meeting in 1993 and uh, now it will be the eighth meeting uh, which will take place in Berlin. Uh, we started this meeting because we realized that most of the uh, talk on Parkinson's disease is devoted to motor aspects. And these are important, of course, and uh, they were supported by the industry, which has uh, solutions for the motor problems. And the other issues uh, were not really highlighted. And they were important all the way, but the recognition of their importance gradually increased over the years. Uh, particularly since we understood that the pathology of Parkinson's disease is not really limited to the substantia nigra and it's much more extensive than that. And we know that uh, there, is, uh, there are areas of the brain in which uh, there are affections uh, which are affected by Parkinson's disease and they have the clinical correlates that we now can put together. So we always knew the depression occurs in Parkinson's disease, but now we can really say why. And this is very important, these issues are very important, the quality of life of patients, and therefore we must address them. And the uh, classical uh, solutions that we had for Parkinson's disease addressed uh, quite well the motor disabilities, but not uh, very well the non-motor. And although we call this meeting mental dysfunction in Parkinson's disease, Actually, we address all the non-motor parts. So it's also the sensory and definitely the autonomic uh, and the cognitive aspects of Parkinson's disease all are very much uh, highlighted there. Uh, and uh, this is uh, uh, what we want to do. This is what we did in the previous meetings. This is what we are going to do in our next meeting. So, uh, Professor Eichmann, Heinz, uh, would you tell us a little bit about the non-motor disabilities that patients with Parkinson's disease suffer from? Yes, uh, as you said, I think uh, it is a very important topic because there are some good uh, papers on the quality of life and the impairment of quality of life and issues such as depression and dementia is impairing our patients even more than a little subtle tremor or a little loss of arm swing. So in our meeting, we will concentrate on issues such as hyposmia, visual disturbances. Many patients have double vision, which is not known to many uh, neurologists. Our patients have problems with constipation. They are falling because of orthostatic hypotension. They are impotent, incontinent. And also we have psychiatric problems such as psychosis, depression, dementia, impulse control disorders, sleep problems, pain. So this Congress will deal with a huge variety of topics. Yes, and of course each of these has a different uh, treatment. So for the motor problems, we have dopaminergic therapy in different versions, but this addresses all the motor problems. But for the non-motor, each of them needs to have its specific treatment. And in many cases, we have some uh, ways to deal with them. In many, uh, we don't have uh, yet. So we are addressing them these the issues not only from the clinical uh, side, but also very much from the experimental side. So we have a lot of, uh, always had, a lot of uh, submitted uh, papers dealing with experimental uh, animals, with uh, what we know from uh, uh, human studies that, that, uh, that can be translated into animals and vice versa. So this crosstalk between basic scientists mm -hmm. and clinicians is very important. And the clinicians that attend the meeting are not just neurologists, uh, maybe half of them are neurologists, the other are, are uh, psych psychiatrists, uh, geriatricians, mm -hmm. psychologists, social workers, physical therapists, and, and many other affiliated fields, uh, all of whom uh, contribute to our understanding of this magnitude and widths of the problem. The uh, faculty that we have in uh, our meetings is excellent. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, uh, the, number, the names of uh, the people who are on our scientific advisory board 
and have been with us uh, to a large extent uh, for many, many years already. We have uh, traditionally had the poster rounds, uh, which are uh, led by the most prominent uh, faculty members, uh, and this uh, gives an opportunity to the younger uh, participants uh, to display what they did and to get uh, feedback from these uh, faculty members, uh, which is very rewarding, m much more than you can get uh, at other meetings or at, uh, by uh, giving a, f a frontal talk where the audience is limited. There, there is one-to-one -one relationship between the faculty and the presenter. So this is also a very uh, something that uh, the attendees uh, have evaluated this uh, very positively in past meetings. Um, our meetings uh, rotate uh, around Europe, mm -hmm. and we had it uh, in several countries in the past. Uh, the first meeting uh, took place in, in Israel, uh, but uh, then later on it went uh, into Europe, and it's still in Europe in several countries. Um, the, we had a meeting already in Germany. This is the second time that we come to Germany. Our first uh, time in Germany was in Dresden, uh, and now uh, we are going to have it uh, in Berlin. Um, and uh, maybe uh, you can tell us, Heinz, about mm -hmm. Berlin, about the host city. Well, uh, we are very proud that uh, the Congress comes back to Germany. Germany has the largest neurological population in Europe. We have about six and a half thousand neurologists in Germany. We don't have so many geriatricians like the UK, but for us it's a special opportunity uh, also having many, many colleagues who are very interested in movement disorders to, back, to be back to Germany. And certainly it is most appropriate for us to be in Berlin. Berlin has gained a lot of vibrance and attractiveness again. After the war now it, it plays in the same uh, team like Paris and London and I'm convinced that all of you who, who will hopefully come to our meeting will be quite impressed by the splendor of Berlin. You can see the performing arts, you can see marvelous buildings, but hopefully you will concentrate of course on the Congress and all the uh, science there, but there will be enough space to enjoy a beautiful and especially vibrant city, a capital of Europe, Berlin. The proceedings uh, of the meeting will be, of course, uh, on the website, but uh, we also uh, publish a special issue of the Journal of Neurological Sciences uh, with uh, papers uh, that have been presented uh, to the meeting. Uh, these are, of course, peer-reviewed. Uh, the um, proceedings from the last meeting um, are coming up just now, in, in, uh, at the end of November, as a special issue. Uh, of the Journal of Neurological Sciences. And again, uh, we are going to continue with this tradition and have a special issue uh, published after the meeting uh, in Berlin as well. So we are all invited. I'm sure that uh, you will enjoy Berlin, you will enjoy the meeting, and you'll come back home fully satisfied. Uh, in order to make sure that you are there, please make your registration very early and definitely the submission uh, should be made very early. So please keep in mind the dates of Berlin um, in May of uh, year 2012. Be there. We shall be delighted to have you. This is a weekend meeting starting on Thursday, finishing on Sunday, with lots of activities, lots of parallel sessions, lots of things to, to do and see and learn.